Hey guys, hope everybody is having an absolutely wonderful day. Welcome back to some EU4. We are Germany. We are at war with Great Britain, and I've made a discovery and a decision. Today is going to be the day we're going colonial. We are going colonial, but in order to go colonial, uh, many of you may know, we're going to need to get some men over to the New World. So let's do it, huh? We are going to take British Columbia and will now be Deutsch Columbia. So all we need to do is come over here and siege down the capital. And uh, realistically, we can peace out whenever we feel like it. We don't have any claims on him. So the uh, the main gist of this war is mostly just to like beat up on him. You know, we don't really need anything in particular. Uh, I will say, though, we don't have the Wargle. So <laughs> he's got some decent ticking war score over here. Kind of funny. IMO. So there's some ships over there. These guys are going to take a little bit of attrition. I think we're okay. So what you need to do is you need to have these guys force march on over there. That attrition is gnarly. Holy crap, naval attrition is bad. Okay. They will take this siege here, hopefully before the end of the month. There you go. Get these guys in for a repair tick, and boom, just like that. Come over here, siege is capital down. We don't need to force marching, though. And uh, just need to take this capital siege here in about 13 days. Oh my goodness, we didn't win it. Never lucky, you know me. Very good. And there you go. So we could take as much as we wanted to and just core up like five provinces. I don't know if I could full annex it. Issue is, is that it's a lot of aggressive expansion over here. I don't know. Let's take a look here because it's it's clearly not a lot of war score to take it all. But um, yeah, that aggressive expansion is pretty gnarly. Granted, it's like all with New World natives. No, it's fine. What we'll do is we'll take one, two, three, four, five. That will form a colonial nation, and then we can concede a colonial nation next time. Um, okay, this is all Colombia. United? What? I have never seen this tag before. Really? United Central America. That is cool. I like that. Um, I could also take some clay in Indonesia. A little bit of the spice island trade, right? Issue is, is that we're going to end up having, um, you know, unrest over there. Cent South Africa. Man, this is great. I can take like all of it. <laughs> uh, the issue will definitely be more uh, unrest. Let's take a look here. Overextension is pretty bad right now. Perhaps it would be best to just wait a few months. For our, um, for our overextension to go down. We don't... Yeah, stability fervor. Stability is probably good for the um, unrest reduction. Have you guys come over here? Have you guys come over here? Let's um, have you guys not do that there. This is my province. You cannot have it. Uh, free diplomat. It sounds good. I was thinking, uh, because we are about to be closing in here on our... Um, Next idea group, and I'm not really sure exactly what would be best. Uh, humanist is a good shout, um, as we will be going to be expanding overseas. And the unrest reduction in years of separatism is good. Influence is good because it would allow us to annex our vassals. Um, humanist is probably what I'm leaning towards. Indigenous ideas. Prestige, prestige decay. So I think we switch over to a diplo folk or an admin focus rather. 446 air, not bad. But uh, yeah, we just need to sit here and wait and uh, probably should take the war goal. That way I can also piece them out for, well, you know what? I'm okay with a shorter truce because then I can do a colonial war and attack him for all of his colonies, which would be really good for us, right? So I guess we just sit and wait for a little bit, you know, no big deal. Also, I've gotten some comments about whether or not I plan to annex uh, Burgundy. I would, but they are a vast, or they are um, a march right now. And so, if I wanted to annex them, I would have to break their march status and wait ten years. So possibly, but not quite yet. Um, we have no coalition. Muscovy has left our coalition. So I got claims on a lot of his clay over here in uh, the Balkans, or not Balkans, the uh, Baltic rather. So I think it would make sense for us to do it. They would call in some people that I don't care about literally at all. 
do something like this. Have you guys come over here and siege that down. Make sure we still have a general over here. Doesn't need to be my best one. And uh, just siege him down. Oh, I got black flag. That's kind of annoying. No big deal, though. Pull these ships in here so they're not um, using all my sailors, which clearly we uh, we need some more sailors. So get that one building built in Bremen. And we're finishing up a few of these occupations over here. Or not occupations, cores is what I meant to say. These cores over here. Um, now he doesn't have any. Yeah, we're good. We're good. So these guys did that thing where uh, they go to the siege, but then they don't actually go all the way. But we did get Lecalia, which is a free siege for us. Ooh, nice. Let's uh, head up here and catch these guys out in our fort. Oopsies. Oh, they're attacking me in the woods. Nice. Force or shift consolidate. So you get a full front row and yeah, okay. Muscovy. What's your mil tech? 20 to my 21. Was 20 an important one? Yeah, 21 was a tactics tech. So uh, not looking too good for them. Come over here and clean up these guys over there. Easy enough, right? Uh-huh. And I, I've got some, a lot of comments, you know, kind of flaming paradox for Musk, Muscovy not forming Russia. I will say, I've seen, I've seen Russia form quite often. Uh, I do know that there is a lot of this, like, nonsensical releasing of vassals. But I will say, I, I've seen them form Russia in my current World Conquest One Faith that I'm working on over at Twitch. They did form it, so. I don't know exactly, you know, what the logic is, of course, because I don't work at Paradox, but, uh... It's going okay. The plebs demand pizza against Great Britain. Understandable. 50 over extension. Where are we at right now? Yeah, I'm going to wait a few months. It's not a big deal. I'm, I'm in no rush. We're good. So. Make some decent conquests against Russia. Maybe I'll win a siege or two with my really good siege ability. Maybe they'll beat me. Here we go. Give it to Nitra. 60. Burgundy is 40. So, yep. Nitra. Or what's uh, Mazovia is... Yeah, okay, so Nitra gets my forts. Better defensiveness. They give it back to me because they're annoying. Won the Siege of Reval. So give that to Nietzsche as well. And let's force march down. That way if they want to try to reinforce, they can. But uh, it won't matter a whole lot. There we go. Wipe out as many of their units as possible. Keep the forts going over to my vassals. Uh, we have the Wargle. So now we just need to sit on it for a bit. I'm in no rush to take tech. Still waiting on our cores to finish up. We had some rebels popping. Some religious rebels, huh? Mm-hmm. Let's get those guys out of there. Where are you guys heading, huh? They're going up there. They really are. Okay, that's fine with me. Beat up on you, and then they're going to attack me. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's... that's Adam's good eaten, as we say in the south. There we go. Let's occupy this whole state here. I'm just going to have these guys come down there and wipe out those rebels. And then they're just going to turn right around and head on up to Smolensk. Look at his siege ticks over here. 40 days versus my like 25 day siege ticks on most of his clay. Make sure we're carpet sieging him down. I think I'm fine with staying on stability. It's not, you know, an issue for us. Very good. Keep on wiping out the smaller stacks as well. He's lost over 100,000 men to my 19. So I would say that uh, those are some good numbers we're working with. High naval attrition. What are you guys doing? Ah, yes. Right. This is fine. I think it's time to peace out. Nice short truce. I'll keep these guys over here. Let's take a look at what our um, unrest is. Uh, 14. Mm. Yeah, because of overextension. 
you know that's that's unfortunate let's um yoink some of the development and that will make it a little cheaper for us to core it whoa brunei and separatists well looks like i'm gonna have to send some men over there um i could just hire some mercs i think that's probably appropriate because we can hire generals to um <laughs> yeah we can buy back the professionalism from that um I just want like the cheapest ones. Looks like the any of these guys are the cheap ones. What an excellent initiative. Very good. Let's get a general over there. Those guys are fighting over here. Very good. So I'm gonna have to core up all this, which is fine. And what that will do is it will form German Columbia. We can pull these guys into port here. Suppress rebels, of course. We have some rebels popping in Lithuania. Understandable. We literally did just conquer them, so. And these guys will come over here and carpet siege down over yonder. Not a big deal. Right, we should probably core up like everything. Ah, oh, crap. I should have taken all coastal. Well, that's going to take some time. It's okay. We're going to be... Yeah, we're not even over 100% now. Polish Separatists. Yeah. It's going to be a little bit of un political unrest for us for a bit. Or civil unrest, I guess you would say this is. Go. Overextension is going down very quickly. Going to drop off by about another 15% here in a moment. All right, so these guys have 37,000 men. That's it. That's that's kind of nuts, actually. Um, wow, really? Oh, right. Siege over here. I missed it. So let's get another general in there. Have you drilling? Build the uh, thinger. Get this guy over here. Let's keep, dr keep drilling our armies. There's no reason not to, right? Get these guys up here and start, um, you know... Destroying the Russian army. There you go. Hello and goodbye. This is without even a military focus, which is awesome. There, I'm just gonna keep on wiping his army out. I don't... Like, it doesn't bother me, you know? I'm only spending a, a very small amount of my manpower, and I have... I can take Miltech whenever I feel like it, you know? Russian particularists, huh? Let's have those guys suppressed. And we can be converting, so we should. Huh. Yeah, I don't know about that. Right. In order to help us with... Um, this stuff. We should just add this all to trade companies, right? So I'm in my one faith mode where I'm... Oh, nice. We had our particulars rise up in our own lands. Well, that's awesome. Right. We're not making any progress on our occupation or on our conversions, but that's okay. Bohemian separatists, huh? Let's see if I can come over there, wipe them out and get back and then get back to drilling before the end of the month. Very good. Didn't miss a beat. What about over here? Very good. Get a general on there. Build the thing. Have him drill. Easy enough. This stack up here is not black flag for some reason. Kind of funny. Let's have them brought over here. Pull our navy back over. And, um... All I'm going to take is this. So I might as well... I can get that right now. I'm, I'm sure of it. I just need to get them off this fort. That way I can switch the... Occupations back over to myself. Right. Let's add all you guys to the trade companies. Let's actually do some investments as well. Now, I don't think that will give me 50%. Let's take a look. Um, South Africa. Hey, we got an extra merchant. How good is that? I love that. 
Um, and then the other one's over here. Not quite, though. So these ones are in the Malacca. We have a trade center here. I don't have enough money to upgrade these. But that still won't even get us that one, right? Uh, where's this at? Indonesia. Malacca's. Have to upgrade you as well. Put these guys over there. Got our extra merchant. So, what's on the menu? Probably steering from over here. Oops. Oh no. Yeah, that's weird. Why is it sending two men over there? There we go. One seventy-four. We'll see what it goes up to here. Okay, extra six ducats a month and I didn't do anything. I can live with that. I'll take all of this and do sell, of course. Yep, we can do that right now. And I'll also take all of his money because screw him. You know, why wouldn't I? Get these guys all. Okay, I didn't. I don't know why I wouldn't select the army. Get these guys all occupied down. And speed five for a moment. Not too bad. Oh, yeah. You guys do not stand a chance. There's literally no reason at all for you to be putting up a fight here. Or to say, no, I don't really feel like giving you the peace deal you're asking for. That's very reasonable. Let's have you guys protect trade in Lubeck. Go home at war. These guys are privateering. Um, it'd probably be better for us to have them protect trade in the North Sea, go home at war. And let's see what that does. 183. All right, it didn't go up because for some reason I still am not steering. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, I would also like some war, war, war reps from him. Get these guys over here. Just occupy more clay. No big deal. Get those guys out of there. And they'll give me the piece I'm looking for. No questions asked. Um, there we go. Easy enough. Hopefully we can win the siege of his capital. Actually, that'll give us quite a bit of war score. I don't care about Theodoro. More rebels, huh? Well, those are in Mazovia. Look at this little port we have in our country. From back in the day when we weren't allowed to expand because we were... Oh, I got a core. Really? Where did I get a core? Down here? I get my ports on the Baltic, huh? <laughs> that's cool because it's reformed and we occupy it so theoretically we could sit in this war for a little bit longer and actually make more money or get some more cores which would be great chase spice of ch price of spices spice of rices spice of dirt derp derp derp, derp derp english is a hard language these guys don't stand a chance the good old speed five war against the Ruskies, don't you know? They don't stand a chance at all. Novgorod is still disloyal. Yep. So we don't even need to worry about it. Constant separatists, man. I should probably state it all up, though, huh? If I'm going to be taking humanist ideas, though. Right, I'm losing innovativeness, so I should do this. Let's take all that. Let's go with humanist. I'll take this first one. Uh, we'll be able to core this all up very, very soon. Before, we're not going to be done with the war anytime. Like, until we're ready to peace out anyway, so. Until we have enough admin. There you go. Wow, what? They have how many men again? Dude, tell me, see, there's why people say, I get so annoyed when people say, oh, having vassals is not worth it. 
Bro, look at this. He's got a 63 stack walking around. Tell me that having like this vassal who I do nothing for except for give him some money. He's so strong. He's so strong. I'm not even subsidizing him. He's completely independent. These guys are getting subsidies and they're not doing too good, but I can just pay off his debts. Look at that. We got some gold coming in. Um, Right here. There you go. Nitra, how you doing now? I bet they're going to be doing well. There you go. Five ducats a month is pretty solid. All right. So we need 115 admin. Look at that, dude. That's crazy. I'm doing nothing. More rebels? Where? Brunei and separatists? Yeah. Let's have those guys do that there. Let's core up Surinami. That way we get our... Um... Yikes. I can't core this. Oh, right. Yeah, I can. Just need to finish up my outside. There we go. As our overextension goes down... Hmm... Local dev cost. Nice. Did I not take this province? Ooh, I did not even realize that Britain had that province. That's awesome. Hey, free mana. We have imperialism coming up as well as another 10% uh, admin efficiency, which is really strong. So you're going to give me all your money, more reps, and could yoink his dev one more month there you go boom thank you for your uh contribution yoink more dev coral there you go the baltic conquest again a general with 100 tradition i don't know which one it is this guy here oh he's actually really good nice Let's get rid of the crappy ones. I have no rebels of my own. It's yeah, yeah, just the Brunei Makasari. Yeah, see, I don't want those guys. Is it these guys right here? I can lose some absolutism. It's fine. Very good. Catholic zealots and Eger. Liberus, huh? All right. Not bad. Once we finish this core up, they will flip over. We're going to... I don't know about converting them. The new world is such a pain in the booty when it comes to that stuff. Um, I could attack these guys. I have a truce with them, actually. Uh, till when? October. Because I want this province here, no doubt. Uh, let's get these guys grouped up over here. Get these guys grouped up over here. Let us convert. Provinces over here. Wait, we took the general off of this one, so have them drilling over here. They're already separate. No, oh, good. Those separatists are dead. I am making so much money right now. So let's take a look and see what kind of hegemon we want to go for. We could get more trade. Um, getting our income up would be one thing. Getting our force limit up would be a little tougher. But maybe with a little bit of investment into some buildings. Let's take a look here. Right. Let's build these buildings over here. I don't think I am going to integrate this guy. Look at this. What a maniac. You can build so many different vassals or so many uh, forces. These guys were going to integrate, so I'm not going to build those. Um, build a couple of these guys there. Our dev is looking really good in our capital. Yeah, let's suppress rebels over here just because we're going to have them almost guaranteed. There's nothing I can really do about it.
a little bit of attrition to assert our dominance. Not bad at all. Yeah, these guys hate me, so there's nothing I can do about that. We are making enough money that I can kind of do whatever I want now, though. Should we build some more forts over here? I don't know. I mean, we could. We have a bunch of forts over here. Yeah, actually, we're going to be fighting the Ottomans eventually. So we should probably upgrade our fort level, fort line. And the Ottomans will be very pesky. That's a fact. All right, very good. All right, cool. Well, a bit of conquest this camp this time around. We took a, some clay over here, a bunch of overseas stuff, which is awesome. And uh, we are working our way down humanist ideas, which will help us prevent more uh, rebels in the future, as well as we are very close to imperialism. We're going to be able to start blobbing quite hard. Um, we're going to keep on working through our mission tree here and uh, should be a lot of fun. I hope you guys are as excited as I am. You know what? Even even better yet. Let's just do it, right? Let's just let's just jump into it, right? That's a attack for Pesht. And there we go. We're going to take care of this war in the next one. Hope you guys are excited. If you are enjoying, make sure you show your support. Leave a like, subscribe, ding the bell, all that fun stuff. If you would like to support me, I've got a Patreon link in the description below the video, as well as uh, some merch, Discord, Twitter, any of those interesting links, all in the description below the video. But that's all I got for you for today. This is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. A huge special thanks to my top supporters for the month of June. Drunk Binary, Mr. McFlew, Angelic, Bouncer Steve, Sprocket, Fat Man on Deck, Jay Eden, Jay Clampett, Jacob Chinsky, M. Dressel, R. Lawrence, Zara, The J. Baller, Blonde Damon, Draco R. Havis, Corbett, Chick Potamus, T. Jarden, A. Vickman, Black and Glad, Harry, Hey Murado, Jay Cutchell, and Winkler, R.J. Pilot, and many more. You guys are awesome. Consider supporting if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time.